Now, as you may know, back in March, an investigation into allegations that Harry and Meghan bullied palace staff was announced. However, no findings from that probe have been publicly released yet. Well now, a former royal staffer named Josh Kettler is reportedly taking legal action against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. He claims that he suffered severe mental health issues due to alleged bullying by Harry and Meghan. Kettler's legal representatives have said that he experienced humiliation, mental pressure, and actual bodily harm because of the way he was treated by the couple. Some key details. Kettler had worked as an assistant private secretary to the couple for about six months back in 2018. He alleges that Meghan repeatedly bullied him and other staffers, subjecting them to unpredictable angry outbursts and unreasonable demands. Kettler says the pressure got so bad that he had to go on medical leave due to the severe stress and anxiety. He is now suing Harry and Meghan for breach of duty of care, as well as discrimination, as he believes their treatment of him amounted to harassment on the grounds of sex and race. Kettler is seeking damages and an apology from the Sussexes. His lawyers are arguing that the palace should have done more to protect staff from the alleged bullying behavior of Harry and Meghan. Now, this story has really blown up over the past week, sparking intense debate. Many are saying the allegations highlight a need for change regarding how senior royals treat their staff. At the same time, others point out that so far no findings have been officially released from the palace probe earlier this year, so there is no confirmation Harry and Meghan actually bullied anyone. I fully understand why this is such a controversial topic, with valid points on both sides. However, after looking closely at all the facts that have emerged so far, here is my take on the situation. First of all, even though the palace investigation did not publicly release any conclusions, reports at the time claimed that staffers did provide corroborating evidence about feeling mistreated by Harry and Meghan. So it seems very plausible that bullying-type behavior did occur, based on accounts from multiple individuals. Now Meghan and Harry have denied the allegations, but they haven't presented any concrete evidence either to fully counter the claims. Their word against former staffers at this point. And we can't forget that this is not the first we've heard about tensions between the Sussexes and Palisades in the past either. So when you look at it all together, past rumors of Her Royal Highness troubles, multiple claims of mistreatment, corroborating witness statements during the probe, it seems quite likely to me that the overall allegations are founded and the former staffer bringing the lawsuit has a legitimate case. At the same time, we have to give Harry and Meghan a chance to fully respond within the legal process. But as of now, the signs point to some inappropriate workplace conduct having taken place towards staff behind palace walls. And this is what really irks me. If the royal family is going to employ humans and subject them to conditions that severely negatively impact their mental health, there need to be protections and consequences in place. The palace just waving these types of concerns away quietly is not appropriate. Staffers dedicate their careers and well-being to faithfully serving the firm. The very least they deserve in return is a respectful, lawful work environment free from any form of harassment or unacceptable treatment. When senior royals fail to provide that basic level of care and respect, action absolutely must be taken. Personally, if the full extent of what reportedly went down is true, I think Harry and Meghan should have faced some penalties at the bare minimum. An official warning, mandatory workplace conduct training, something to acknowledge this kind of behavior will not be tolerated. We saw what happened with Prince Andrew after his disastrous BBC interview regarding Jeffrey Epstein. He was essentially cast out of public royal life. So when accusations of serious misconduct surface, the royals need to demonstrate they are handling the matter with the utmost gravity and accountability. With Harry and Meghan, given their celebrity cash and fame worldwide as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they really have the power to negatively impact countless lives through their actions and words alone. So potentially psychologically devastating employees through alleged unchecked bullying demands serious repercussions. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is this, if senior royals cannot commit to treating all staff, regardless of rank or background, with basic dignity, care and respect, then they have no place continuing on as working members of the royal family. Royal privilege is not a license to potentially harm humans without answerability. In a fair system, Employees would not have to resort to lawsuits or media to seek justice for workplace issues with their employers. The institution's leadership would have and apply protocols to ensure all concerns are addressed seriously from the outset. And any offenders would understand there are consequences to their allegedly toxic behavior. 
but clearly the palace has some internal failures that still need fixing regarding toxic royal workplace culture and accountability when complaints arise. Hopefully this lawsuit will compel real, much-needed changes to better protect staff going forward. No one deserves the kind of treatment that was reportedly inflicted upon these individuals. At the end of the day, when harm or injustice has potentially occurred due to one's position or actions, looking away is not an acceptable response. There needs to be acknowledgement and making amends. In this case, to all who allegedly suffered, I believe Harry and Meghan owe apologies and self-reflection at the very least. But furthermore, to truly promote a healthy, respectable model for society. They also deserved consequences fitting of their rank for any misconduct proven. It was wrong not to put them in jail if what reportedly took place truly amounted to legal-level harm. The royals are not above the laws and standards they represent. With that being said, thanks as always for watching this episode of my channel. I look forward to continuing our discussion on this developing royal story. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on my analysis of upcoming events regarding this ongoing saga. I appreciate you all. Stay well.